episode of the Capture Guru. Today I've got a great shoot with a Harley Davidson. This is a fat boy, beautiful bike. I used to have a fat bob, um, so I'm a real big Harley fan. And we're going to have some fun today. And I'm going to be photographing this bike conventionally. We've got a bounce here. And then I'm also going to be doing some light painting. We're going to try and create some really nice effects. And then I'll show you later in Photoshop and in Capture One what we can do to create a really amazing shot. And then I'm also going to be doing a portrait with the owner of the bike, Daryl Place, where we're going to take a picture of him. So we're going to cover quite a lot of things today. And I'm going to be using this fuse. It's a Fuji GFX 100. It's their 100 megapixel camera. Uh, I, I love this camera. It's absolutely amazing. The quality is out of this world. It, it really is um, something very special. What I really like about it is it gives you the option of shooting medium format, but at the same time giving you the feel of that you're shooting with a SLR type camera. So it's really simple, easy to work with, nice to handhold or to shoot on a tripod. Um, its abilities in studio are phenomenal. You can do focus stacking, all sorts of things like that, so which is really exciting. So I'm going to be working with this. We'll tell you a little bit about the camera. We're also going to test this camera with the XT4 um, on some video work. So I haven't really done much video with the GFX. I've only been using it for stills. So I'm really interested to see how the video works on this. And we're we'll also run through some video on the XT4. And we're shooting this at the moment with the XT4. So yeah, we'll be telling you as we're going along today what I'm doing. And really looking forward to shooting this beautiful, beautiful bike. Yeah, really stunning. Thanks. So now what we've got here is I've got Daryl, he's the owner of the bike, hey Daryl. How are So he's, he's the one who gets to enjoy this bike and I'm really envious of him. But what I've done for this particular shot is I've lit the bike pretty clean and I've put one light off to the side, which we'll show you just now, that I'm bouncing into Daryl and creating a light on the side. So you've got a bit of side light that's lit in, and so it's got a bit of mood and then when I get into post, I'll push the contrast and we'll work it a little bit to give it a little bit more mood. So with him I've wanted to light it a little bit cleaner. But once I get to now shooting the actual bike on its own, I'm not going to worry too much about um, the side light. I'm not going to be worried just about the lines and the curves of the bike. And I'm going to be using a combination of um, flash and then coming in with light painting afterwards. And we've got a great tool that I'll show you later where we actually light and we can adjust the color temperature so it matches the light. So this is a great lighting setup. It's got a bit of mood in his face. We've got light moving across the side of him. So yeah, it's, it's an interesting, interesting looking light. So yeah, we'll move on to the next part of the shoot. Thanks, Daryl. Thanks for the bike. Great to have the Okay, so I've got here from Photo Hire a Savage Light Wand. Um, it's really great. You can adjust the colors on it. You can light on whatever your um, or saturation on the actual light and I'm going to be using this to light paint we'll obviously set it onto a neutral 6000 Kelvin and what I'm going to do is because when I'm light painting I'm going to be painting over the bike like I'm not going to be wanting this to be getting into my camera so what I've got here is I've got some foil um, sitting foil that I'm going to be using and I'm going to just wrap this in like that and then Stick it down and what that's going to do is going to stop any light falling into the camera and I'll make sure that when I'm painting that I um, don't aim the actual light towards the camera so we're going to really make this foil and we can make it into a nice simple and go to look like it looks like a bar wall. So, yeah, really nice and simple. It's amazing what you can do with uh, black wrap and yeah, for shading of light. So now once, once I actually get to painting, you'll see when I'm doing that, you don't see it, and then I can just paint it.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create some atmosphere into the back of the shot by using these amazing ones. You can see I've got myself all green in here. And I'm going to paint a bit of colour into the background of these shots to keep it moving. 